All right, everyone, welcome back. So today we have a problem from the Sweden 2018 Final Olympiad. There's a lot of girl, let me fix that. Where you'd like to know for which positive integers and the polynomial one plus x to the n plus x to the two n uh, is irreducible. Is this why you write up every solution? You think about it and you realize things? Yeah, I definitely always understand the problem better after I write it up. Um, either because now I can like actually see the whole solution or because as I'm writing it, I um, find better ways to do it. Or as I'm writing it, I find mistakes. That happens a lot too. <laughs> like I don't trust solutions that I haven't written up. They're only right like half the time. The other half of the time there's a bug somewhere. Uh. Yeah, okay. So I think all I have to do is write this as x to the 3n minus one over x to the n minus one, right? Because when I do this, what happens is the numerator and denominator both decompose as exactly the product of cyclotomic polynomials. So the thing on the top is the product of... <laughs> shoot, I forgot break MT. That seems to be a trend on this stream, honestly. <laughs> it's the divisors of 3n of phi 3d of n where if this that's a cyclotomic polynomial and on the bottom it's the product of d dividing n of phi d thank you corny 0512 for that for the fall um okay so we go we just get the cyclotomic polynomials and this is good because they're actually known irreducible <laughs> i hope i don't have to quote that honestly um but we'll, we'll find out in just a moment so uh, this is thing. So, essentially, we actually know exactly how p factors. p will factor as the product of d not dividing 3n of... Sorry, let me get this right. First of all, this is not 3d, it's just vd. Um, have I solved 2014c4? I think so, yeah. Or I didn't solve it, but someone told me the solution. I know exactly what, how you do it. So p of x is given exactly by the product of cyclotomic polynomials d, where d divides 3n and d doesn't divide n. Um, if you know the big hammer, which is that cyclotomic polynomials are reducible, you have a good reason to believe this is like basically all you need to know. But even without that, what this means is that, um, well, if there is more than one divisor of 3n, which is not a divisor of n, then p is certainly not irreducible. So, what values of n have this property? Oh, let's see. So... I feel like it means like n with the factors of 3 removed is like... 1. <laughs> I think that's it. So I think we only consider n a power of 3. Every other n, I think, if you have a prime p that doesn't divide 3, then, um... Is that true? The largest power of 3 dividing 3n and that thing times p will both be new divisors. Yeah. So we need to consider n equals 3 to the k, in which case uh, p of n is actually just exactly the 3 to the k plus first cyclotomic polynomial. So cyclotomic polynomials are always irreducible. This is a fact of life. Um, I don't... I know a proof of it that's algebraic number theory, but I feel like for the power of 3 case, I really ought to be able to do it without appealing to algebraic number theory. <laughs> Well, yeah. What's the way you do it by hand? If you don't want to throw the big hammer at it. Okay, here's how you do it. Um, we're going to take modulo 3 
in which case uh, x to the 3 to the k times 2 plus x to the 3 to the k plus 1 is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 to the large power 3 to the k mod 3. So if this thing on the left factors, then modulo 3, its factorization com is composed of like a bunch of stuff times a bunch of stuff. So, so P would be equal to F times G for two monic polynomials F and G with their coefficients. And F would be like X to the I hate this notation, but I don't know a better one. For for the people that know what it means, I'm basically doing I'm basically rederiving Eisenstein at this point. Um, which is a little silly, but it's fine. Cool. So yeah, if it factors, it factors into something like this. And now I should be able to... What do I plug in? That will blow something up. I just plug in 1, right? Yeah, plug in x equals 1. And compare mod 9 to get 3. Compare mod 9 to get a contradiction. Okay, so that's how you prove it by hand. Um, because what ha okay, I, I should write this out. Um, you would have for some d strictly between 0 and 3 to the k, the like, f is equal to this plus that and g is this. So now what you get is x squared plus x plus 1 is like, um, well, 3 equals p of 1 equals like, 3 to the 3 to the k plus 3 times uh, some integer divisible by 3 plus 9 tilde f1 tilde g1 What is the source of a problem? Um, someone's teacher gave it to them and then they gave it to me <laughs> That's how the stream goes <laughs> The circle of life, what, what can I say? <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, bisector was developed for the follow. So first of all, yes. Uh, yeah, j just for the record, we, like, finished the problem. I'm about to start the right up. <laughs> so, yes, you're a bit behind. Uh... Oh, I didn't see that at all. Oh, man. I got baited. <laughs> Why did I make a new Discord account? Um... Basically, like, so when I stream, right, I, ha I keep the Discord open so that it shows that I'm streaming and it sends the ping and if people are saying stuff on the V Enhanced server, I can, like, see what they say. Um, but what happened was that, like, every so often I'd accidentally open the Discord, like, on the stream and, like, <laughs> it would be open to something that was, like, not supposed to be public, like, the Usamo grading server. That actually happened once. There was a few frames in one video um, I've taken them out by now, but uh, there was one VOD where if you looked at like a certain three or four frames, you could see people discussing like Usmo 6 grading. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, because this this account that I use for the streaming, I norm I have it quarantined for like everything except Discord up until now. Like I I can't get my email from here. I can't open my Facebook. I can't open my Dropbox mostly. Um, but I can open Discord, <laughs> and then I got burned for it. So now it's cut off from Discord too. It's a separate account. Did someone find out before you? No, no, no. I, or if they did, they didn't tell me. Um, because if you're watching the stream normally, it was really only a few frames. Like, 
I like pressed the wrong button when I was switching windows and then I pressed the correct button right after. So unless you're watching like really really closely you wouldn't have seen it. But I knew it was there because I pressed the wrong button I'm like crap I opened Discord. <laughs> so now that's fixed. Uh, but yeah so now that's why I have a different account because I'm like um, never again. <laughs> Okay, that's the write-up. Um, this will be a quick write-up. Yeah. Keeping secrets is really hard. Um... It's like security is just hard in general because it's a thing where like, um... You only need to make one mistake, right? Like, if you are developing a crypto something and like, you develop a great algorithm but your random number generator stinks, anyone is going to just attack the RNG and not attack your algorithm. Or like, you know, you implement the algorithm well but like, I don't know, you, you didn't invest in a good paper shredder, right? Then an attacker, it's cheaper for them to just pay like a bunch of money to have someone go to your like recycle bin and piece together your shredded paper rather than attack the crypto system. So it's really not fair when you're trying to design anything related to security. Like, um, no matter how much work you do, if there's any one part that like breaks, then it, it compromises the whole system. Um, anyone have a link to the Discord server? Yes, Discord. <laughs> okay, denote the. So I'm gonna an email. We have the decomposition of P and T reducibles is exactly given by hence the answer is those N for which the there are is only one D satisfying D and D minus I don't think this whole is the way to handle use of upgrading. Why not? It works. <laughs> See, the problem is when you when you do this sort of like um, force people to adapt technology, um, you, you're kind of stuck with whatever people use, right? Oh no, you you don't want to run grading over email. Take my word for that. It's a nightmare because you need real time communication. Like you need a chat. Um, you need you want voice ideally, and also like. When you are the system administrator, um, you're not just watching the conversation for one or two problems. You need to watch all the problems. And so if there are like a gazillion email threads, it's it's rough. <laughs> or also, even if you're like a USMO, even if you're a USMO one grader, there's reasons you might want to like know what USMO four is up to. For example, if you are a problem captain for USMO one um, and you're trying to design the rubric, you probably want to have an idea for what the other rubrics are look like to make sure you're not like way more generous or way more harsh or whatever, right? So you need a system for which people can focus on only one channel of information at once in real time, but also be able to look back on any other stuff in any other place. So um, that's either Slack or Discord and the millennials all use Discord. So, <laughs> the older people use Zulip. <laughs> mm. 
when when we did CMC grading it was on Zoom. It, you can really tell the difference. Like the people who are used to Discord just use it and it works great for them. And then for the people who like aren't used to using Discord, it's really hard to get their attention. Um, so you're you're kind of just stuck with what. The most important thing is that people actually use it, and it's surprisingly hard to force people to use things. <laughs> like even though on paper, like you know. People who like Zephyr. Oh, is that so? Uh, thank you, KV, but QD, UW. Yeah, use grading is usually done in person, which is um, mostly better, although there are a few ways in which it's a little worse. The, the one nice thing about digital grading is that it's really easy to find papers. Like, if you want to look back on a past paper, um, you can just find it. What are we doing now? Uh, probably next problem, which is about 100%. 